y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we are going to be drawing a kind of scary animal, but more misunderstood animal. It's one of those animals that are really, really cool, but we need to kind of keep our distance from it. But the coolest part is, is that you guys picked this animal. So thank you guys so much for submitting your animals. I always love requests, so make sure you keep telling your parents what animals you want to see in the next videos, and then there's a good chance that we'll do them in a future video. All right, so a few hints for today's animal. Today's animal has thousands of teeth. You heard me right, thousands of teeth. They have gills, and there's a whole week dedicated just to this animal. Your parents might know this one. Yep, you got it. We are drawing a shark today. Man, there's a lot of requests for sharks, so I'm really excited to do this. Are you guys ready to get drawing? Perfect, okay, well we need to make sure we have everything out and ready to go. All right, so make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. I'm gonna get my sharpened pencil out and make sure I have an eraser handy because we're gonna do some sketching first before we lay down our lines with a dark pen or a marker. And then we'll go back and erase all the under sketch. And then at the very end, we're gonna have the really fun part of coloring it in. So I got my loads and loads of markers. Maybe you have crayons or colored pencils or paint. Whatever you wanna use is just fine. All right, let's start drawing our shark. So let's get our pencil out. Let's start off by drawing kind of a, just a big arc right here. We're now we're gonna leave it a little bit more to this side because we wanna make sure we have room for the tail. So let's do kind of something like this all the way over here. Hmm? That might be a little too far, but we'll see. And I might have to make that a little skinnier, but that's why we got our pencil out. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw another one like this. Maybe a little bit more and down here. There we go. I had to go over that a bunch of times because uh, it's very hard to draw that, the two perfect arcs on there. So we're drawing, it's kind of like a little flying saucer. If I did like a little thing right on the top of there, <laughs> maybe we're gonna have an abducting some cows or something. No, okay, we gotta stick to it. We're gonna be drawing sharks. All right, so let's add the tail so we know where we're at here. I'm gonna add just a big curve like right here. And maybe you wanna make a really big tail. There's lots and lots of different types of sharks. And maybe this shark is just your own special kind of shark. So it can be whatever, whatever you want. All right, so I'm gonna draw that line and then maybe I'll just draw another one over here as well. But I'm gonna draw it a little bit smaller on the bottom. I want it a little bit taller on the top, personally. Okay. And then I'm gonna go draw a straight line towards the middle here. And then I'm gonna draw another line right there. Okay, now we're gonna to have to make some changes I can already see just to the body. So what we'll do is, instead of erasing some, I want it to kind of overlap. I don't want it to just hit right there. I want it to kind of go over a little bit. So I'm gonna start this line up above it a little bit. And that's okay. Feel free to adjust it as you go. I love pencils for that reason. Now that's a really big tail. Maybe that's too big, I don't know. Or maybe it's just right. <laughs> well, maybe we'll add the fin on the top. So they do have this big fin on the top. That's the one you see in the water that's sticking out just above the water and you hear the music always like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be drawing right now. So let's draw a line, kind of angled right there. And then we're gonna do just a little curve right here. Boop, right there on the top. Let's do the mouth. The mouth is so interesting on the shark. That's the most iconic part besides the top fin is the mouth because they have really big mouths that are really scary because they're full of lots and lots of teeth. Like I said earlier, thousands of teeth. That's crazy because what? We have like, I don't know how many teeth. How many teeth do we have? 20 teeth? You may have to count them. I'll let you count your own teeth. We don't have thousands of teeth. They have lots and lots of rows of teeth. So we have the ones right here. They have more behind it and behind those and behind those. They have about five rows of teeth. That is so many teeth. Okay, so we're gonna draw the top of this mouth. Maybe we'll draw a few teeth in there too. And then I'm just gonna draw, so I'm gonna draw a little line right in here, cutting in, and I'm gonna draw another line right underneath it. But I'm gonna kinda stick with the, the shape that I already had. You see that? So I basically just cut into my 
shape just a little bit. So if I erase this, I'll show you. Right here. There we go. And I messed it up. Now we have the mouth open a little bit. Okay, so now we have the mouth open a little bit. Maybe you want the mouth to be open even more. So you can move that back. And we'll go like that. Oh yeah, that looks that looks really cool. Maybe it looks like he's almost smiling there. My favorite shark in any movie is Bruce from Finding Nemo. Have you seen that movie? Fish are f what? They're friends, not food. That's not true with real sharks. <laughs> real sharks love fish. They got all those teeth too to make sure that they can chomp down on the fish. But you know what's weird? Is I thought with all those teeth that they would just sit there going just chomping them all. No, they chomp them like once and then they just swallow the fish whole. It's just enough to kill them with the teeth. All right, so now maybe we wanna, you got his mouth open there. Maybe you wanna add a few, I'm just gonna name mine Bruce. I'm just gonna go out there and say it. Usually it takes me a little longer to find the name. Today it's Bruce in honor of that character. I'm just gonna add some little triangles here for some teeth. Ooh. Then I'll draw maybe like two over here. One right there and one right there. Oh, you know what? Maybe one out here too. Yeah, I like that in the little teeth in there. Okay, so now that they got the teeth, the eyeballs aren't actually back here. They're really kind of closer to the front of them. So I'm gonna draw the eyeball right here, the big circle. That's another reason why I think sharks are a little scary is because if you ever see their eyes, they're like all black. They're just solid black. And sometimes that can be a little scary because you don't see the whites of your eyes. It looks a little scary. We're not gonna make him that scary. We're gonna give him a little pupil right here <laughs> so he doesn't look as scary. Right now he looks a little crazy because we haven't filled it in. We need to start adding some fins, the bigger fin here on the bottom. They have a few fins. They have a little bunch of little fins, but this one's their more iconic one, the one that's we recognize more is the other one they used to, f to kind of steer around this one underneath them. So we're just gonna draw, you can draw a straight line or we can do a little curve here, maybe it's straight, maybe they're just triangles. I don't know what you wanna do. You can do all sorts of things. So let's draw, oh, I like how that looks. And then we're gonna add a few more little ones down here. They do have a little triangle. They have a few more extra fins. I'm gonna draw one right there. Maybe another one up here. There we go. Let's do the, the gills. A lot like fish gills. I'm gonna draw some little curves right here like stretched out C's or straight lines if you wanna do that instead. We're gonna add some gills here. That actually helps them breathe. I'm just gonna move them back a little bit. That actually helps them breathe because you know we up here above the water we breathe in oxygen. And it's hard to get oxygen out of the water because you can't breathe in the water. So when we're up here, when we go underwater, we have to hold our breath, but they can stay underwater because they have these gills. So the water passes through them as they swim and then it sucks the oxygen out of it so that they can breathe underwater. Well, some days I wish I had gills because uh, pool days would be a lot more fun. <laughs> All right, Bruce, you are looking good. Now maybe you wanna add some more things. Maybe you wanna make the whole scene. This is a really cool one because drawing underwater scenes is a whole lot of fun. Maybe you wanna draw some seaweed or some fish or something really cool. Maybe you can bring back the jellyfish that we, that we made before. You put one back there. That'd be really cool. All right, so now let's do that outside line. I might, yeah, here we go. Now you can move your page around. If you wanna move your paper around, that's totally fine. It makes it a little easier if you rotate your paper. But for me right now, I'm not going to so that you can see it really well in this video. So if I make a few mistakes, it's because I, it would be a little easier to rotate my paper, but then it'd be harder for you guys to see. So what I'm saying is I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> Let's do this part underneath the bottom of the mouth. And then I'm gonna go right under here. Make sure I don't run over my fin. There we go. Nice. I'll draw a line right here. 
Another crazy, oh man, I left a little spot there. That's okay, we can fix that up. Makes it more unique <laughs> with the little flaws in it. All right, oh, what I was gonna say was with the teeth, I always find them very interesting because not only do they have a lot of teeth, right? But they can keep losing their teeth. So if the tooth falls out, another one grows back. And that happens all the time. For us, can that happen? No, only once. <laughs> if you have your baby teeth still, then those can fall out and then you get your adult teeth. With sharks, they're born with teeth. And then when they lose teeth as they get older, they keep having new teeth. They can lose up to like 100 teeth a day. I don't know what they're doing to lose that many teeth, but that's a lot of teeth. I really wish, I really wish that I had shark teeth. I mean, it might look different, but it would be so much nicer. I have a, I have a slight confession to make. I'm a little scared of the dentist. Just a little scared. I used to be a lot scared. I'm just a little scared still. Do I still go to the dentist? Yeah, of course I go to the dentist. I need to make sure my teeth are taken care of and clean and healthy, but it still scares me sometimes and I just need to, but luckily I have a very good dentist. I really like my dentist and uh, you know, it's okay to be scared of some things. Even adults are scared of things like sharks. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared of sharks too. But if you understand them and you know to keep your distance or what not to do around them, then you can just appreciate them for what they are. Very, very cool animals. There we go. We're going to draw those gills on there. Let's draw that circle for the eye. Ooh, it's kind of hard with these rings here. Let's try it. I'm really excited to see how your sharks turn out. <laughs> I love seeing your guys' work. So thank you guys so much. For those of you who have been sending in your pictures, your drawings, that makes me so happy. So thank you guys for doing that. I'm, I'd love to see more of what you guys are making, especially these sharks here. That always makes my day, getting to see what you guys are creating. And... I'm starting to now share those things that you guys create at the end of some of my videos. At the end of the week, I'm going to start sharing some of the ones that you guys have done so that you guys can see it. And uh, yeah, I get to talk about some of the really cool stuff you've made. So yeah, it looks like I pretty much outlined it all. I just need to go back and erase all this stuff and then color in all the skin. Speaking of skin, now I thought if you just looked at a shark, it would be really smooth. But people who have actually touched a shark, I have not, say that it feels like sandpaper what that it has like a it's just kind of gritty or coarse and uh, that's because they have lots of little tiny little micro scales on there it's not just perfectly smooth which i did not know so i'll go through here erase all of this all right yeah so if you need to pause here for a second before you start your coloring go ahead do that take a look at this one add whatever you want to make it yours and then we'll catch up after the coloring All right, well, I think he's all colored in and ready to go. I love how Bruce turned out, and because I love how he turned out, what do I need to do? That's right, I need to sign my name on it to tell everybody, hey, I'm very excited about what I just drew, and I'm gonna put my name on it because I'm proud of what I make. Well, how did your guys' turn out? Oh, good. Well, thank you guys so much for showing up and drawing with me. This has been a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys had a good time. We learned a lot of really cool facts about sharks. Oh, and one more fact about sharks is they don't have bones. They actually have more of like cartilage. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's a little bit more like rubbery, but they don't have bones. I thought that was really crazy. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for our future videos because we do these Monday through Friday every single week. Thanks so much, you guys. Remember, be brave, be creative, but most important, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.